definitely an over slot fish. What's up everyone, Kieran Anderson here with some super exciting news. Salt Life and I are starting a podcast called Above and Below. It's coming out this summer and it's gonna be weekly. We're gonna be going over all things salty, fishing, diving, surfing, you name it, we're talking about it. Make sure to listen in on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcast and uh, we'll see you there. Yeah. So today we're exploring a new area with an incoming tide. I'm using the gulp swimming mullet because it's one of my favorite lures to throw. So I'm just moving around, casting, and looking for fish today. There's our first red of the day for sure. Man, I wish I got that hit on camera. He took off. Dang, he's freaking out too. Now he's coming at me. He's gonna take off in a second. I'm using reverse to stay out of the spot where I hooked him at. Because obviously there's probably a lot more fish over there. Definitely an over slot fish. Just love how these fish fight. Uh oh. There we go. Gaze. Probably 24. Not a giant, but oh my god, they fight. It's an eighth ounce trout eye jig head with the gulp swimming on it. Oh, not bad, 26. It's a nice 26 inch red. First fish of the day. Big red just splashed around in there, chasing bait. Getting out of the kayak, because it's a tiny little creek, but then it's deep over here, and I keep hearing splashing. So usually, it's like right here, you know, where this grass is, where the deep water, that's a flounder, I bet. Yep. I to explain that that's where fish would sit. It's not a bad one either. The new regulations is they have to be 16. Oh, he's only 14 anyways. Wasn't gonna keep him no matter what. Got a little flounder. Let him go in the shallow water and let him pick where he wants to swim. He going right back where he came from. One thing, there's like, you can see I'm standing here and then it's like a drop off there so a little bit deeper water over there and then there's also current flowing in from the tide and grass so all those things kind of line up to turn it into a spot where a fish might be at no way look at that <laughs> the red almost swam right up to me so one more thing before i move on which is how i'm working the lure it's pretty simple i'm just throwing it out I want it to be extremely close. Basically, I want it to sink all the way to the bottom. Then I'm just like bouncing it on bottom. Sometimes I'll just reel it straight and sometimes I'll bounce it. You know, I'm not moving it fast because I want to make sure it stays on the bottom. And you see I'm like snagging on shells and stuff that are on bottom, but that's a good sign because it means you're getting your lure down deep enough. It's always fun to stop and see what's in these holes back here. So that's what I'm gonna do real quick. Might not be deep enough for anything, but you never know unless you go find out. Looks pretty deep, there's definitely bait in there. It's 
some big bait. Oh, I wish I had a cast net. All right, this is pretty funny. <laughs> that, I somehow hooked a pinfish like that. Yeah, it's a pinfish. Great thing is I have a cork and this is like a perfect bait. So we're not gonna miss the opportunity to use this. Catch reds, trout, flounder. Go eat it. I think we got a trout. Yep, there's a little trout. Just on like a grass point, really. On the swimming mullet. All right, I don't know, might be a flounder. Nope, it's another trout. I think it's a little bit bigger than the other ones, too. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's still not a keeper, though. That's why I'm not trying to net it. Actually, that's a really skinny trout. It could have been a keeper. It's got a nice trout. No, I say nice, but not really. He's fighting hard. <laughs> Still uh, not, not a keeper. There's a lot of like 12, 13 inch trout today. This might be the biggest one of the day though. I think he's worth a little bit of a measurement because just to see, he might be a keeper. Yeah, he's over 14. If we just got a nice flounder in the day, that'd be nice. First keeper trout of the day, that's a 14, a little over 14 incher. Not a giant, and I'm not keeping fish, but just nice to catch a, you know, bigger one than what I've been catching all day. So even though obviously this wasn't like one of my best days of fishing, so I fished a completely new area. I've only been fishing for a little less than three hours. I found the reds. I only caught one, but it was a good size red. So that was really fun. I uh, found the trout. There were small trout, but I still found trout and a flounder. And it was small, but got all three in a pretty short amount of time for, you know, just exploring an area and looking for spots.